I just bought every cool saltwater fish from the fish store that I could possibly find. I actually went to three different fish stores just to film this video so I could find the coolest fish possible so you guys can enjoy them. Not to mention today, we're gonna be adding our biggest fish to this pond and our most expensive fish to this pond. And it is a good one that I've never, ever had before. There's actually two fish that I've never had before. So far, we've added parrotfish, blue tangs, puffer fish, anemones, angelfish, and even lobsters, multiple kinds of lobsters, purple, slipper lobster, and we just added some really cool mantis shrimp and pistol shrimp. And we are just getting started, ladies and gentlemen, trust me on that. I know you guys love the unboxing videos and the buying new fish videos, so that is what we're gonna be doing today. I'm also testing out this new microphone here, so let me know in the comments if you guys do like it. I think it's gonna be better so I can actually add the fish and you guys can still hear me while I'm adding the fish in at the same time. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let's get into the new fish we're adding to this pond. We got some serious color to throw in here. So here's our box of fish that we're gonna be going through today. I'm super pumped about these guys because one of them is, uh, was very expensive and they're pretty rare. That's why they're so expensive, obviously. That's our biggest one, that's our most expensive one. That's the star of the show that we're gonna be showing you guys a little bit later. He's really, really cool. I do have one serious oddball in here as well, which you probably have never seen before. He's a weird looking fish and you guys are gonna love him. So I think we go one by one and find out what is in our box today, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are gonna love it. Let's get into bag number one. Now in bag number one here, we have an insanely cool fire fish, just kind of like the first one we bought, except this guy's different. This guy is a purple firefish. He's insane. The colors are nuts on this guy. I thought they were crazy on the first one. I thought the colors on the first one were insane, but this guy's are much, much cooler, much crazier. He's got purple, pink, orange, that yellow. That yellow body looks nuts. Plus, now that we already have another firefish in here, they're gonna absolutely love it. They're supposed to be in schools or at least pairs, and now we have our pair. The first one's right here actually by the glass. He's chilling. He loves staying by the glass. He's excited. He probably sees his new friend up here, and he's super pumped. So we got the first one, which was an African firefish, and now we have the purple firefish, who in my opinion is much cooler than the first one. I still love the first one, but this guy is seriously cool. Now it's crazy when you zoom in super close to this guy, like I'm showing you guys right now, how much the colors absolutely just pop. This is one of the brightest, most colorful fish I actually have in this pond. Even that bicolor angel I got, this thing's color is nuts. So that's the whole point of this pond. Like I mentioned a million times, we want to brighten this pond up and make it has make it have as much color as possible. We did a good start with our first stocking video, but now we are even upping that with this guy right here, who is just so cool. I'm curious to see if they're going to swim next to each other and hang out the two firefish together, because I thought the first firefish was going to live inside the rocks and stay up in there. But surprisingly, he loves being out and about and swimming by the glass. It's really, really cool to watch, especially at night with that light on, which I am going to show you clips of everything at night with the light on because it just looks so good at, at, at nighttime. You come out here, you have a nice piece of pizza and you enjoy your fish. Epic lifestyle, guys. So let's get this awesome fire fish that we just got in the mini pond, baby. All right, so let's get our big boy in here. This is awesome, dude. This guy is so cool. But the thing is with these guys is they are frisky. They are extremely frisky and they're fast, surprisingly, and they jump right out of your hand. So let's see if we can actually get this guy in the pond while enjoying him. Check this guy out right here. Look at that. Look at that fish. Come on, don't freak out too much. There he goes. That's epic, dude. He looks so cool in this pond. He's gonna look awesome. I want him to meet the other firefish. They can hang out together. Let's see if he's gonna find them. Now, for some reason, every time I add fish, they don't go to the rocks right away. They like to hang out on the outside first and scope out the area. So, so let's see if we can actually move this guy over towards the rock, see if he'll go swim over there. But, but even still, even though he's swimming on the outside, he just looks so cool with those colors. It looks absolutely insane. All the puffer fish are checking them out because they're always so curious when I add new stuff to the pond. The puffer fish are the number one inspectors. They're the inspectors of this pond. They always check everything out first. So he's swimming around, hanging out, and there he goes, swimming right by the anemone. That is so cool. That is so cool. Where's that other firefish? The other firefish is right in front of him, so I'm not sure they're gonna see each other. The other firefish is right there, hanging out by the window like he always is. But these two guys, once they get comfortable, are gonna be awesome in the pond. I'm super excited about our first fish added. And we're starting this video off with a bang of color, guys. An absolute bang of color. And just wait, because we got much, much more to show you guys right here. This is awesome. Now that we got our firefish in, let's move on to bag number two. This one is gonna be the oddball. I'm about to show you guys a seriously weird looking fish. 
Now, next up in bag number two is something that I've never bought before, and he is a seriously weird fish. This is a dragon pipefish. Now, pipefish are really cool because they literally look like snakes. It looks like a sea snake. It's actually like kind of like a seahorse, but this thing is so slender and so weird looking. I've never owned one of these things before, but surprisingly enough, I have caught them at my dock. Not this specific pipefish, but a couple months back when I was looking through a bunch of seaweed in my canal at my dock, I actually scooped up a pipefish and it was really, really cool. So there are some all around here that live in the seaweed, a bunch during the summer. They're absolutely everywhere, and they are such a cool, weird creature. And this guy, as you can see, his face literally looks like a dragon. This thing is so cool. He's got white and black spots, so very, very cool, very interesting, and these guys love to stay by the rocks. They don't actually swim around like a lot of the other pipefish do. These guys like to crawl around, kind of like a snake, in between and on top of the rocks. And I have a ton of rocks in here that he's gonna enjoy, and he's gonna do amazing in here he literally looks like a snake i cannot wait to see him crawl around these rocks when i put him in i'm actually going to set him right on the rock so we can see what he's going to do maybe we'll get some action of him swimming all around these rocks that is one seriously weird sea creature right here but i absolutely love him i absolutely love him. he's a 10 out of 10 for me i love weird stuff and this guy truly is weird so drop those names for this guy down in the comments and let's get this guy in the mini pond all right now check this guy out in my hand first of all he is just so weird and he's actually kind of hard he doesn't have like slime he's like hard and what i'm gonna try to do is i'm gonna place him right on the rock try to get him as close as i can to the rock as possible you guys can see what he does in the rocks here so let's let him slither on out look at that that is so weird but that is one weird looking fish and he's so cool once again the inspector puffers are coming to check him out look at that puffer just inspecting uh, inspecting the new sea creature in the pond now he moved over a little bit by the rocks here as you guys can see he's checking out the pond slithering around a bit but I'm just waiting to see if he's gonna go on top of the rocks and try to find a little cave for himself to hide in right now. Now in bag number three, we actually have a fish that we have gotten before in the past for our mini ponds in the garage, and they are really cool. So what we got here in bag number three is a beautiful fox face tang. Now every time you buy these guys, it's so hard to show you them right out of the bag because they change colors on a dime. They're usually bright yellow, literally like a yellow crayon, so bright. But because of the transfer, because we bought him from the store he was put in a bag and all that stress they change colors so quickly and now he's like a brown and sometimes he changes to black and white and striped and it's actually insane the way these guys change colors so quickly i don't know how they do it but they do it because literally the color he looks now is pretty ugly but maybe at the end of this video he'll be nice bright yellow for us because they look so good when they're all bright yellow way better than he does now once he gets comfortable in the pond he's gonna look way better so let's get him in the pond and maybe he'll change colors Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens here when we take this guy and put him in the pond. I know you guys say these guys are venomous, like uh, kind of like a lionfish, their spines are. And guess what? I uh, I knew that last time. I still picked them all in my hands. One of these days, I may learn my lesson, but not today, Kimosabi. He's ready to rumble right here. He's definitely ready to rumble. Let's see if we can get him nice and gently and not get pricked to go to the hospital. In the pond. Look at that guy. Super ugly, guys. Literally. Not a cool looking fish, but guess what? When we get him in the pond, he should brighten up nice. So there he goes right there, swimming off. He's still looking a little brown, but guess what? He found a nice rock. He found a nice rock. So give him time. He's probably gonna sit up in there. I don't even know where he went right now. That's it, that was probably the, the only clip we're gonna get of him. I don't know where he went at all. We're not gonna see him until he gets comfortable. Oh, there he is on the right. So he's underneath this rock here. He knows there's shelter, he knows there's safety. Hopefully by the end of this video, he'll brighten up nice and yellow for us so we can enjoy him. Cause right now he's an ugly brown damsel. And I'm getting eaten alive by these uh, Sergeant Majors, by the way. They're eating my arm hair. I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, these baby Sergeant Majors <laughs> are eating my arm hair, literally. Good for them. Literally a group of piranhas, I absolutely love them. You guys told me to keep them in my last video and guess what, we're gonna keep them. So now that we got our fox face in the pond, he's somewhere back in these rocks here. He's back there, I don't know where he went. Let's get into bag number four. This is the most expensive fish that we are putting in this pond, the biggest fish we're putting in this pond, and this is gonna be the new king of this pond. He's an absolute beauty. I've never had one of them before and he is really, really cool. Let's get into bag number four and check out what I got. Now our fourth bag has the big boy in it. This guy is insanely cool and I cannot wait to see him swim around in this pond. He's, our, he's gonna be our biggest fish, by far. He's gonna be our biggest fish. But when I saw him at the store, I had to buy him. There was a smaller one for the same exact price. I said, you know what, let's get the big one so we can really, really enjoy him. This guy is a purple tang. This is one of the most coveted tangs, if not the most coveted tang that you could buy. 
dry. Like I said, I wanted to get massive color in here. I was looking for that powder blue, but they didn't have them. They only had this beautiful purple tang, who's just so sick. Such a cool fish, purple and yellow. Doesn't get much better than that. And he's really big. He's pretty much the size of my palm in my hand here. So he's a really, really good size. And he should cruise around this pond like crazy. Such a cool fish that I've never had before. That bright purple with that bright yellow tail. Absolutely insane. Literally one of the coolest fish you can buy. And they're so expensive because they're so hard to find now. Super pricey. But guess what? I do it for you guys. I buy the expensive fish so you guys don't have to. And he looks great in this little cube. But he's going to look even better at night. So let's go ahead and get our big boy, our big purple tang in the pond, baby. I'm super pumped about this guy. This guy is so cool. Literally so sick. Never had one before and I'm excited. So let's get him in the pond and enjoy him. We're gonna need a name for this guy for sure. The purple tang is gonna be the king of the tank. So drop your names in the comments because we're definitely gonna want a really cool name for this bad boy right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy in the pond. I don't wanna take too much time uh, keeping him out, out of the water because he's, he's a tang, you know, they're delicate. But this guy's just so sick. I mean, look at him, he's big. Look, he's big. This is not a small tang, that is a prize tang. So let's just get him right into the pond so he can enjoy. Look at that, look at that. That's so sick, dude. There's our purple tang. Let's go, baby. Once again, all the fish I had like to stay on the outskirts of the pond, but he'll learn soon enough. So let's check him out, he's cruising. He's cruising. This is what I want in the pond. I want tons of fish that swim around like this. So he's, this is why I got him. He's big, he's pretty, he's purple, yellow, and he swims around a lot. So though, there's the firefish. He's in his little cave right there. But this purple tang is so sick. He's gonna absolutely do amazing in here. Maybe I'll try to feed him later tonight. Who knows? There's the pipefish still hanging in that little cave there. But so far, the purple tang is just absolutely swimming around the pond in a circle. Making me a little dizzy here, buddy. So here's everything from the side of the pond. Let's see if the purple tang's gonna swim by. There he is, right by the window. So sick, dude. So sick, look at that purple tang. This is definitely the coolest fish we have in here currently. He's gonna do awesome in here. He's just absolutely just, he's cruising. What an absolute beast, I love him. We definitely need cool names for this guy in the comments. Now check it out already guys, it's, it's been just after I put that purple tang in the pond and the fox face is already bright yellow. He's already that quickly changed color. So as you know, now he feels at home. Now he feels less stressed now that he's back to his normal color and that purple tang will not stop swimming around. He's literally making me dizzy, that's what I wanted. I wanted to come out here and feel dizzy with how many how much fish is swimming around this pond. I'm, I'm stoked with it. I'm super happy with my purchase. I know you got, I knew you guys would love this fish as well. He's so cool and he just swims around like a maniac. I, I don't understand it. He's crazy. Everything we've added today is top tier, top of the line. I absolutely love all the fish that we put in today's pond, especially at night with this light on. It's gonna look amazing. The mini pond is a huge success right now. 10 out of 10 fish. Absolutely loving the direction that we're going. Drop comments down below what you guys think you wanna see next, what you think I should get next, and I will make it happen for sure. But there's a ton of action already in this pond. I absolutely love it. I do wanna add some more starfish some more enemies, and of course some more fish. So let me know what you guys think I should do next. Let me know in the comments and I will make it happen for sure. It took me a couple hours to hit all three stores because I really wanted to buy the best fish from each of the stores and I definitely got them. I definitely got some weird ones, some cool ones, some big ones. We did, we actually hit it out of the park today. What a great video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so happy you guys are enjoying this series with this pond here. I'm absolutely loving it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.